8 rotating systems part 2 angular acceleration and equations of rotational motion instead of equations of motion that you already studied angular acceleration is calculated by using this formula alpha is the angular acceleration equal to delta omega change in angular velocity divided by time compared with this familiar formula that you all know acceleration equal to change in velocity over time this is translational motion that's rotational motion the relationship between angular acceleration and translational acceleration is given by this that is translational acceleration that is angular acceleration for this example here we have a pulley of mass m and there's a string wrapped around it at the end of the string there's this hanging mass which pulls down the pulley causing it to accelerate and you have to find out the angular acceleration of the pulley and the angular velocity of the pulley after five seconds here are the answers in detail for question a you rearrange this formula to give you that for question b you rearrange this formula to give you that and the assumption is the initial angular velocity is zero which is true relation between translational and rotational quantities firstly translational displacement is related to rotational displacement through this formula likewise translational velocity and rotational velocity through this one and finally translational acceleration a and rotational acceleration alpha related to each other through this formula here are some graphs this one for constant angular velocity these two for constant angular acceleration so instead of plotting d against time you plot theta against time here as well and instead of plotting v velocity you plot omega angular velocity so for everything in rotational motion there is an equivalent in translational motion equations of motion these are the ones for translational motion and these new ones here for rotational motion get yourself familiar with these ones here is a worked example a centrifuge accelerates from rest at an angular acceleration of 7 radians per second squared it takes 3 minutes to reach top speed what's the final angular velocity what angle does it turn through during this time a very important thing to point out is you always list the information given and that will help you pick the formulas more easily